life, that precious one Odyssey bestowed upon us. A single shot with its many peaks and valleys. A gift that we run with into the unknown. Constantly moving forward. Unwavering through time on this uncharted adventure that we all share. Equal in the hands of destiny. A journey that takes us through the brightest and darkest places within ourselves. In pursuit of something. Determined. Driven. Resilient. Running has never really been my cup of tea, but there's something about it that I grew liking as I started out. The challenge. An ephemeral physical, mental and emotional effort that removes us from the noise and the stress of a world going ever faster and wanting ever more. An intense respite to take a step back from things and dig deep into oneself in search of that flame to reach an objective and push oneself to the limits, opening the doors to discovering unknown facets of ourselves, be it for the better or for the worse. I therefore decided to embark on an epic journey within myself, in search of that internal blaze challenged by the alpine titans, guardians of the famous Swiss mountain range and home of some of the most majestic peaks in the world. A quest that will culminate in taking part in my first ever 100 km ultra trail, the awe-inspiring Swiss Peaks 100. My quest first milestone takes me to Torgon, Switzerland for the first trail race of the season in the Valle Canton. A 30 km course and 2000 meter elevation gain through the amazing alpine landscape that would take us to the border with France in this incredible skiing domain of the Port du Soleil. Some of the best trail runners were here to jumpstart their season. It was my first race, but this was not really the start of my running. I had already clocked in the 500 kilometers running since December 2020, progressively ramping up the mileage. Some long and grueling hours sometimes going around the same 20 kilometer course near my home. I managed to add some mileage by taking part in the Geneva Marathon a few weeks before the trail to break the increasingly boring routine of my local course. I was excited, but also a little apprehensive given that I had just been vaccinated against COVID the day before the race and was uncertain how my body would react. I was jumping into the unknown. Would I get through this tough race? How would my body react at high altitude in such a long effort?
Here we are, the moment I've been waiting for all winter long. I'm about to put my mind and body to test through these magical but daunting mountains. It feels like an exam during which I will test whether my preparation was good enough. I know I'm going to suffer, and I'm here for that. As we wait for that chilling yet exciting gunshot that will mark the opening chapter of my trail running odyssey, there's a mixture of emotions going through my mind, body and heart. Concentration on the objective ahead, butterflies flying around my stomach giving away the apprehension of uncertainty, and pride to show my children that through dedication, discipline and determination we can achieve anything. <laughs> set off into the unknown, in the hands of destiny, gazing at the clouds hiding the colossal height of these intimidating mountains that we will ride throughout this quest. Absolutely incredible, loving it. First bite. Need some calories now. Into the snow. It's getting high. High, high, high. Skiing in mud. Ten kilometers in. Uh, not sure about uh, the height, but the air, air is thin again. It's now pushing. Third of the way through. But it's good. It's good. We're gonna make it through. Trail running is kind of like life. You start out fresh and full of energy early on, 
And then as you progress through your journey, you start to wear down physically. That's when the mind takes over, and with age, you either build up that mental resilience, or life starts beating you up. At this point in the trail, I was starting to feel that physical impact, more because of the elevation gain than the distance itself, but I was now needing to dig into that mental strength. All right, here starts the fun part. Nearly in June, and we're in the snow. Unbelievable. In the ski lifts. Wow. So awesome. In the toughest moments in life, there's always some glimmer of hope. That beauty that life can bring you if you are just that receptive enough to catch those glimpses. Glimpses that infuse you with that badly needed energy to get you over that seemingly unsurmountable mountain. You grind through the pain in the hope that a better patch will turn up as soon as you get over the obstacle. Through darkness comes light. Never give up. Sure enough, we finally reach the first aid station, a welcome respite where we can refuel in calories and liquids. It's always a great moment to exchange with the amazing local volunteers who make these races happen. That climb was tough. And when you think the biggest difficulties are over, you realize that an even taller mountain is hiding behind the one you just successfully overcame. Alright, this is insane. The adventure, real adventure, man. Slippery as hell. And super vertical as well. Holy cow. That's what we're here for. But the efforts are always well worth it. The best views come from the toughest climbs. Majestic. The incredible view of the Alps was mind blowing. We are now a little over halfway and the most difficult climbs are behind. The effort rewarding us with these stunning views giving me the additional energy to continue pushing through these treacherous conditions. The mud and snow are making it difficult to keep balance, slowing me down considerably. I progress in my journey along the border between Switzerland and France on a glorious and windy crest of the mountain range. The mud becoming my best friend on a mission to accompany me to the end and teaching me some new balancing skills. On that climb to the next peak, I am alone in this vastness. The wind pushing me forward, trying to help me as I enter a new soft patch in this journey. It's cold at this altitude and the weather's not helping, impacting the morale. It's getting tough now. Holy moly. But I keep pushing with the next peak in sight, hopefully rewarding me with yet another great view. So I think we reached the top now. Phew! Hell of a climb. Amazing views. Overcoming a milestone is incredibly fulfilling. It's a change in one's mindset. That success injects another burst of energy needed to take on the next challenge, moving you forward relentlessly. And my reward for taking on the challenges of the day bestowed upon me some of the most awe-inspiring sights. A great view of Lake Geneva and the Alps in all directions. But 
But the obstacles were not over yet, and we were again challenged with another steep climb in the snow. Another nice climb. At this point, the wind was not helping me anymore, but rather trying to push me off the crest back down into the valley, an expeditious way of reaching the finishing line. Now well on my way back to the finish line, but running downhill was rendered very difficult with the amount of snow that locals had never seen at this time of the year. Incredible sight to see those slopes still ready to welcome skiers rather than trailers, teaching me some new skills in the process sliding down that part of the mountain. I was feeling tired, but excited to reach the finishing line. Now nothing could stop me, my mind pushing aside that physical discomfort, accepting it, embracing it, enjoying it. Arriving in Togo. I'll see a hundred meters. What's an adventure if you can't share it? If you can't share those incredible moments with those you care for? Moments of belief in yourself. Moments filled with determination, uncertainty, awe and hope that will maybe inspire others to push through and be stronger than those difficult moments in life. Inspire them to set themselves daunting objectives and do their best to reach them regardless of whether they will actually reach them. Believe in yourself. It's worth the journey.